Matt Musil shows us through a special arrangement involving the players and the people those players once considered strangers. Just down the street from the U.S. Clay Court Championships, there have been some jam sessions going on this week. And Brazilian pro tennis player Andrew Saw has been right in the middle of them. Oh, this is great. I mean, th this is a bonus. We never, I mean, I never knew. When Andre came to play in Houston, he knew the tennis would be highly competitive, but he didn't know he would be treated like family while he was here. First time I was here was four years ago. So, you know, he had one guitar in his room. I said, oh, man, you play guitar. I like to play around as well. And in the next few years, look what comes. The guy has a full studio here with drums and bass and everything. And I'm like, this is great. We come out and jam, and then we, we talk. He comes over to the courts, sometimes to watch the matches. So it's, it's, it's a full... A full deal. It's great. What Andre has gotten caught up in is the welcome home treatment that all the players receive when they come to Houston. Players here not only get to play in the most intimate pro tennis setting in the world, they also get to play golf at River Oaks Country Club. And they get to stay in some of the finest homes in our city. I'm away 30 to 35 weeks a year, so it's a it's pretty, pretty long uh, journey, but she likes it because, you know, Staying alone in the hotel room, she says, you're more open to, to doing crazy stuff. So it's better when you're with the family, everything's calm. You're home early every night. You have dinner with the family. So she really appreciates it. Yeah. Andre spent this past week with the Pew family, and he wound up spending much of his free time with their teenage sons. There's not many people who can say, oh, yeah, um, after school today, I went home and I played guitar with the Bryan brothers and Andre Saw. And then like last year, they had the drummer from the Counting Crows and stuff. None of my friends can say that they've done that. It's, I mean, it's pretty crazy, like. Crazy like a fox is what tournament organizers were when they came up with this host family idea many years ago. This event is important to players because it's the start of the clay court swing leading up to the French Open. But the prize money here doesn't compare to the rich paydays of the tennis majors. So treating the players like royalty while they're here helps to bring them back. I would say, yeah. So come here, it's fresh, you know, and you get, the maids are here, we have, I speak a little Spanish with them, they love it, and the dogs are around, you know, sometimes oh, I, I'll take the dogs outside, when do I get to do that you know, on the road? Never. So it's just a complete different experience, a different week for everybody. And for Andre Saw and the Pew family, it's a week that struck just the right chord. Look, here's the thing. If a player wins the title here, he earns $95,000. While if he wins at Wimbledon, he earns $3 million. There's just no comparison. So the organizers here have done a great job of making this event unique and special for visiting players in other ways. And you know what? It's really entertaining tennis also. Jason?